Okay, so got this set up. Um, initial impressions, Grizzly, this is actually the first time I purchased something from them. Uh, the real reason why I was on their website just kind of like rooting around looking for a joiner was my brother had actually gotten the six inch with the, uh, uh, the spiral cutter head and I happened to see this on sale. Uh, the only review was of the company saying this is a new product. So I decided to uh, take a chance with it. Now, what I like about it is it's not too big, but big enough. So with the extensions, you've got about 51 and a half, 52 inches, which is pretty good. Um, as you can see, I kind of am in between milling my lumber and getting some of the box store stuff for other various projects that I'm doing. Uh, what I like about this is it's actually really, really simple. So you have the lock over here, the adjustment knob to set the uh, in feed table up and down. You have the guard and with the spiral type cutter head because some people are going to get confused and maybe a little upset thinking this is something that it's not. So it still has the same type blades, okay? It's just not the entire row and nor is it helical. So yes, this is straight. Uh, I believe these are direct replacements for the spiral cutter head. And I think the reason why they do this was to accommodate um, not having too much noise. Uh, it works just as good. There are no other issues with it. And it's actually a pretty clever design. Um, to set up the in-feed and out-feed table, uh, it didn't take too long. Um, like I said, you just take the uh, supply tools I give you and you can take these out. Inside is the adjustment screw and you can raise or lower. Um, if for some reason you take them all out, uh, the whole uh, table would move. Uh, what I did actually was just loosen the back fence so it wouldn't pop up or move around too much. Um, setting up really, it didn't take uh, that much time. Um, really impressed with actually the quality of it. You have the four inch or comes with the accommodating two inch dust port. Uh, I'll be using the four inch. You got the uh, two push sticks over there. And the owner's manual is incredibly in depth with what it is. It goes over the entire operation. Uh, talks about everything, how to adjust it, how it's supposed to work. I I'm actually really, really impressed with this. Again, uh, eight inch uh, cutter head. Maintenance is really, really easy. Uh, if you see around back here, you can see the adjustments. They have 90 degree stop and on the other side is a 45 degree stop. So you're not constantly, you know, fiddling around with trying to get the, the, the proper angle. Um, I work it. It's not horrible. Um, probably could be like a little bit better just because even though you're trying to get the stop perfect, you know, there's still the defense will move just a, a little bit. So go ahead and get your, you know, machine squares or tri squares, whatever you have lying around, line it up. Uh, very, very, very simple. Extremely durable. Uh, picking this thing up, it, it, it feels incredibly well built. I'm actually really happy with my first Grizzly product. Um, if there's any, any, any issues or questions, I'll, uh, answer what I can. Uh, I, again, I know this is brand new, so I was myself kind of looking for other reviews, but at least this will give people an idea that there are more options for benchtop planers, especially in small shops like mine. Um, they are versatile. You can move them around and they can do exactly what you need them to do. Um, not that I don't like having my small job site saw. I, I would love to get a cabinet style table saw, uh, funds and room just aren't uh, in the cards right now. So I'm going to stick with, with things that make the job just a little bit easier, especially with milling my lumber, just because lumber prices now are just absolutely astronomical. And typically what I get at the home center is just kind of garbage. So any questions, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I would highly recommend looking into at least this, if not other Grizzly products, which is what I will be doing soon. But I hope you liked the review and leave any comments or feedback.